Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Marcus on this Daily Rambles. Sorry I've not been posting in a while. I've been stupid busy, but I'm back. I'm doing a ton of videos, and I'll be releasing a lot throughout the upcoming weeks. I've been busy recording, busy, busy editing, busy working, so I can make money. So, you know, just the usual stuff. But today, we are doing Black Panther. Um, I saw the movie... On Friday, I didn't get a chance to talk about it until today, which is Monday. And I have to say, this movie was really, really good. I really loved the movie. The cinematography was insanely beautiful. I don't even know if that was even the word. But anyway, I love this movie so freaking much. I said the cinematography was great. I love all the use of all the different vibrant colors and the dynamics between everybody was just great. So I just want to break it down, just a few key parts of the movie. Because I feel like everyone's done a bunch of reviews slash reactions for it. So basically they talk about the history of how, like, centuries ago, five um, tribes um, had a war over the meteorite of the alien metal vibranium. And so, um, when someone ingests a heart-shaped herb affected by the metal, they gain, they gain superhuman abilities, and they became the first Black Panther, and they united the tribes. And um, the one tribe was, um, which is the Jabari tribe, chose not to follow. So the Wakandans use a vibranium to develop high advanced technology and isolate themselves from the rest of the world by proposing as a third world country, which means they have no money and they're just flat out broke. And they're seen as like, you know, like they need help. Like some like most third world countries need help with supplies and like with water and that type of thing. So, um, so in 92, um, while on an undercover assignment, in California, um, one of the princes became convinced that Wakanda does not need to be isolated anymore and to help share technology and was, was and vowed to help share it. And so to help them uh, conquer their oppressor, oppressors. <laughs> I can't talk right. So anyway, uh, so he was said um, black market arms dealer, which is Claw, who we've heard from and seen before, uh, to infiltrate Wakanda and sell um, a little bit of vibranium, not even a whole lot, because the meteor was like, huge when it hit. But his brother found out of this through another undercover agent and confronted him. And then when he attacked the person um, that was undercover in Missouri, uh, Chikaka, which I'm totally butchering probably, reluctantly killed him. In order Zuri to lie to, uh, that Nobu had disappeared. So they left behind his American son Eric in order to ma maintain the lie. So now we go to the present day where uh, Chikaka's uh, death at the hands of Zemo, his son T'Challa returns to Wakanda to assume the throne, and he and the leader of the Dora. I'm not going to try to pronounce that because <laughs> I'm not going to butcher it. So I uh, distract his ex-girlfriend, uh, uh, Nakia. Again, I'm butchering all the names. I'm very sorry about this. <laughs> From an undercover assignment, so she can attend the coronation ceremony along with his mother, Ramonda, and his younger sister, Shuri, who is so awesome. I love her character. She is so funny. Faust is so dynamic, and she is super smart. And so they had a ceremony and where all the tribes show up. And uh, all of them, except for the Jabari tribe, uh, challenge him. So um, don't challenge him, except for the Jabari tribe. They do challenge him. Sorry. And so um, for the crown, basically, you get stripped of all your powers. And so you're a man again. So that way the, the fight is, is fair. But uh, Chichala defeats um, the guy in the ritual combat, and so he's becoming the new king to allow Nabaku to live. So uh, when Claw resurfaces to sell a stolen Wakanda artifact that um, had vibranium in it, um, to South Korea, Chichala closes his friend Wakabi, who lost his parents as a result of Claw's actions, urges him to bring Claw to just to justice, so he promises that he'll do that. 
So T'Challa, Okoye, and the cock, mm, mm, they go to the underground casino where they deal with uh, where the deal is taking place. And now Okoye is a boss. She is epic. I love her in this movie. Like she does, she's just amazing. Her fight scenes and her skill set is just like of like Black Widow could. It's really amazing. I love those scenes of her fight scenes. They're insane. So they go to the place and they run into a CIA agent, Everett K. Ross, who takes um, Claw into custody after they bust up the place against T'Challa's will. And Claw tells Ross that Wakanda's international image is just a front for a technologically advanced civilization, but he doesn't really believe it. But he gets broken out by Eric, which is the guy that the kid that got left behind, is, who is now an ex US Lux Ops soldier who goes by the name Killmonger. And then Ross is seriously injured during the attack, and so T'Challa des uh, decides to take him to Bat to Wakanda to fix him up because they have the technology to help him out uh, rather than pursue Claw. Then Shuri heals Ross with vibranium while T'Challa confronts Zuri and Nobu. And then Killmonger kills Claw, then takes his body to Wakanda as a token because he's been trying to get into Wakanda forever. And revealing his um, identity to the tribal elders and challenges T'Challa to the throne. And then Killmonger supposedly kills, um, uh, he does kill Zuri. And then after triumphing, triumphing in ritual combat, hurls the defeat of T'Challa over a waterfall. Then, after ingesting the heart-shaped herb to gain his powers of the Black Panther, Killmonger orders the remaining herbs to be burned. And I also love when um, when they do take the heart-shaped herb, they get sent to an actual plane. When uh, T'Challa uh, did it first, he saw his father... And uh, tell, and all, all the past Black Panthers, and so they all talked to him, which I thought was a beautiful moment. But when um, Eric does it, he sees his father again, and how um, he's kind of walled off from everybody. from all. So it's just him and his dad talking. And I feel like his dad had a little bit of regret in teaching his son, you know, all about, you know, being bad, I feel like. But he still loves his son very much. I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway. So anyway. Um, <clears throat> so anyway. I do love the, the imagery. And everything like that. So I really love that. So um, he orders his uh, the plants to be burned. But. Um, Nakaya. I'm so butchering these names. Anyway. Um, she manages to steal one herb. And she wants to take it to the Jabari. And have them go against uh, the Killmonger. So at the home of the Jabari tribe, the group finds a comatose T'Challa rescued by the Jabari and repayment for him, sparing the Ka the Kagbu the Kagu's life. Healed by the heart-shaped herb, helped snatch by the Nakai before the others were burned. T'Challa returns to Wakanda and to complete his combat get with Killmonger. And he saw his dad again in actual plane because they had to cover him up. And so um, he confronts his father and he decides not to uh, stand with them because he doesn't believe that he what he did was right, leaving the kid behind. Because this was basically his fault, like the dad's fault, for not bringing the kid with him and help raising him to teaching him the right way to do stuff. So basically... Um, we go back to uh, T'Challa, to, to returns to Wakanda to complete his combat with Killmonger, who is now wearing a Black Panther suit of armor of his own. So Shuri and, and Nakaya um, uh, join Dora Mil Lodge and Jabari in battling with um, Wakabi and his army, while Ross pilots a jet to shoot down the planes carrying the weapons before they can leave the country. And once they leave the country, um, they have the cloaking tech to uh, disguise the plane so that they can get there whenever they need to. So within Wakanda's vibrating mind, T'Challa uses sonic mining technology to disrupt Killmonger's suit and fatally stabs him. Then Killmonger declines an offer to be killed and imprisoned, choosing instead to die free. 
So um, what T'Challa does is he um, shows, before he does die, he shows on the sunset because in when he was in the actual plane with his dad, um, he said to uh, Killmonger that the sunsets in Wakanda are the most beautiful sunsets on the planet. So um, T'Challa lets him see the sunset before he dies. And so basically what he wants to, T'Challa wants to do now is to um, not be um, isolated anymore. And he had a press conference with the World Council well, or the United Nations to reveal his true nature to the world and to help people out. So he actually bought the apartment building where his, uh, I guess his uncle died. Yeah, uncle. And um, wants to do an outreach program and to, for Siri to run it. And um, help Nakia also run it as well. And um, so I thought that was really cool as well. And in the post credit scene, Siri continues to help Bucky Barnes with his recuperation. And I was in the movie, and I really enjoyed this movie. I'll give this a plus. There was a lot of comedy I thought was was not forced, uh, unlike other people thought. I really enjoyed it. I thought, it was, you know, you have funny moments. you got to have some type of funny moments in, in a French, any type of movie, I feel like. I enjoyed it. I loved it. It was a great movie, and I hope they have more movies like this, because I, I feel like it brought, um, brought a whole new dynamic to the movie, and I just, it was an awesome movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, anyway, like I said, I give this a plus. I really liked it, and I was going to do all the other movies, but I didn't get a chance to do that because I've been so busy trying to actually make money. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I've been working a lot more, and that's put a bunch of stuff on hold unfortunately like i've not done music in forever but i'm gonna try to do some later today like i said i'm very busy trying to do stuff anyway so if, that's the end of this video so if you like this video please go to like comment down below and tell me what you think of the movie do you agree or disagree i know i'm super late i meant to do this actually friday afternoon but it just didn't happen i'm very sorry about that anyway uh, just leave a like, comment down below, and then subscribe for more stuff. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.